you don't see me dancing and all that, just vibe with it, girl. <laughs> and welcome or welcome back to my channel it's tar if you're new here whether you're new or returning thank you so much for tuning in again today today we are continuing the ways to wear it series if you're new to my channel i have been doing a ways to wear it series where i take one item or one specific clothing type and i style it a few different ways usually at least five ways and i think i've gotten up to like six or seven so we'll keep building on this but i really really love this series it really helps me to stretch my wardrobe and take advantage of the items that i have in my closet instead of buying something new all of the time so today we will be styling denim I think I have a denim shirt a skirt and a few pair of jeans so if you're looking for some outfit ideas outfit inspiration for the denim items that may be in your closet stay tuned now let's do a little housekeeping if you have not hit that subscribe button yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button especially if you have been here a few times and you're just waiting to see what you think go ahead and hit the subscribe button if this is your very first time and you're a little bit skeptical stay to the end of the video see if you like my vibe if you love outfit ideas, outfit inspiration, clothing hauls, all things fashion, this is the channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, sis. So denim is one of those items that never really goes out of style. Maybe a specific clothing item or an aesthetic may go in and out of style, but denim is forever. It is the most classic thing you can wear in my opinion. And so I keep me a good pair of denim denim shirt, denim jackets, all of those things in my wardrobe so that I can mix and match with them all the time. These are also outfits that are easily transitional from winter to spring. I know that we're getting close to the spring months, which I'm so excited about. So I wanna make sure my outfits are wearable for those warmer days, especially for us that are in the South. You know how the South does. It can be 10 degrees one day, and then the next day is 80. Let's start with the denim shirt. So. A denim shirt is a classic piece. I actually picked this one up from the thrift store. The thrift store is a, an amazing place to find good quality denim shirts. If you are new here, I'm a thrift lover. I love thrifting and so I will often bring up items that you can find at the thrift store because I have found such gems and quality pieces. It has a little bit of a pinstripe detail and so since it had that detail, I knew I wanted to pair it with my new pinstripe trouser pants. Now these pants are from Target and I actually found them in store on the clearance rack for $16. I featured them in my last video and I'm sure they're still online but you guys these pants are so good. I got them in a size 14. They fit perfectly and I love how they're long enough to where I can wear a heel but they're also short enough if I want to wear a little chunky boot with it or a chunky sneaker. Anyway getting off subject the outfit. So I I love how it paired with the pinstripe pants and y'all these white boots have had me in a chokehold this season i just want to put these white boots on with with everything and i have never really been a white heel girl but i think i've changed my mind a little bit because these white boots they just look so good up under a wide leg pant like seeing that little white point toe peeking out from a wide leg pant or a maxi dress or a maxi skirt it's just so good and so i paired it with the white booties and just my white little furry bag that i wear all of the time i love that i have a lot of buildable pieces in my wardrobe that i can really put together in a lot of different outfits i definitely wouldn't call my my wardrobe a capsule wardrobe but i do have a lot of capsule items that i mix and match and that you've seen a lot on this channel i hope y'all ain't getting tired of seeing some of these items especially the accessories because i run them back baby <laughs> we keep them coming <laughs> yeah i love this look together it's really clean chic but it's also given a little street style with the top being buttoned all the way to the top i did cinch in the back so i used a little hack that i saw on tiktok where you just take a bobby pin no 
not a bobby pin girl a safety pin and you pin back the sides of your shirts to kind of cinch them in the waist a little bit and make them a little bit more structured i only button the shirt up halfway it's helping to kind of cinch that waist in a little bit and show off my figure even though this is an oversized top cinching that top in just helps to slim me out a little bit and show that i actually have a figure under these clothes i was really feeling myself when i was shooting this content so you don't see me dancing and all that just vibe with it girl <laughs> So let's jump into the denim jeans. So this pair of jeans I've actually worn on my channel a few times. I actually love these jeans. They fit really well and I love how they sit on my body. They fit my waist perfectly but they're still loose through the leg. These are from Pretty Little Thing. I picked them up maybe last year or the year before last. I love the distressing on the knee. I know some people are not into the whole distressed jeans thing but I still like me a good little distressed feature on a jean. So love pairing these with again a point toe heel so i wanted to have a little fun with this outfit so i took my little chiffon kind of feathered top and i layered it over a white button down this is why i love white button downs and just kind of elevated basics because you can layer on top of these and make it new every time so this little tube top i picked it up from shein a few years ago i've had it for a minute but it's perfect i've worn it by itself i've worn it layered i wear it in the winter i wear it in the summer like this is an all-around piece for me and it's that perfect little statement piece that just adds a little bit to a very simple outfit this is a very simple base, just a white button down and some jeans but just adding that statement piece just takes the outfit up a little bit so yeah love this i ended up wearing just some tan booties with this i've had these tan booties for a while they're from shoe dazzle structured pair of booties i love the square toe and the block heel they're very comfortable to wear and i love this color it's like a matte muted tan so it sits perfectly under the jeans i wanted to keep this look really neutral and keep the colors in the same family i didn't want a lot of statement colors or statement textures or anything because i feel like the top was doing what it needed to be done it, it's the of the show we don't need to take away from that so i didn't take away from that um i paired it with just one of my favorite little tan handbags and then i threw on these shades that are in that same color family y'all i picked these shades up from dollar tree i talked about this on my tiktok if you're not following me on tiktok go ahead over there after this video of course and follow me on tiktok <laughs> i went in dollar tree for valentine's day candy and i walked out with shades and dollar tree is not playing when it comes to the sunglasses like they have some cute shades in there so anyway yeah the shades from dollar tree i'm rambling that is the outfit love the way this came together so another pair of denim jeans that you've probably seen on this channel before are these super oversized denim jeans from pretty little thing again love pretty little thing down they do really well with denim and i love that these are just a simple pair they don't have any distressing they're just a simple pair of light denim jeans and they're perfect for pairing with bright colors for me i styled these with a cobalt blue blazer this is another item that i thrifted but i love this blazer it's like it was made for me like it was tailored exactly for my body and i love wearing this one closed up because it just it snatches that waist in but i thought it would look great with a graphic tee and so i added just a black and white graphic tee up under it and my cobalt blue booties these booties have been in my wardrobe forever every time i get ready to give them away i'm like no you'll wear them again so that's kind of what happened with these i'm like i need to keep these because i know i'm gonna have an outfit that i want to wear it with so love these down this feels like a really street style take on a very classic outfit i love the colors together perfect for transitioning to spring and kind of bringing some color into my outfits of course i could throw on layers and layers of necklaces and jewelry and all of that or even a chunky necklace would look good with this i love a good baggy pair of jeans tight it's it's cool but a good baggy pair they just look i don't know it's something about that look that just it works for me another pair of dollar tree shades y'all this was not on purpose but it just so happened that these worked out these little tinted white shades and the tint is blue they are perfect with this outfit i just wore my silver bag with it silver is another good neutral that you can put on with a lot of different colors and it just works so i love the way this outfit came together really fun and this next pair of denim um is a vintage pair of levi's 
I found them thrifting recently in the men's section and they just fit perfectly. I love the fit of them. So I was initially going to cut the sides of these to, to be inspired by the Mason Margiela jeans, but I decided against it. I actually wore these this weekend and I think I changed my mind again and I want to cut the sides. So if I do that, I may make a little short or something to show you um, how they look before and how they look after. But I do have to wear a belt with these because even though they fit close to the waist, they're not like tight to the waist how I would like them. So I do have to wear a belt. And I may go ahead and just put a dot in these to bring the waist in a little bit because I just want them to kind of snatch me up a little bit more. But I knew I wanted to keep the outfit really simple with this and go a little bit crazy with the jewelry. So I paired this with this beautiful green iridescent button down. It has a little bit of a satin texture to it. I love the shine that it has to it. And I knew I wanted to give a little bit of cleavage, but still keep it a pretty simple outfit. So I kept my button down, unbuttoned a few buttons, and then I kind of did a crisscross tuck so that it falls perfectly open. I love that it's a little bit oversized, so the sleeves kind of fall over my wrist, as well as the collar kind of falls off my shoulders a little bit. Love that. Though it's a simple outfit, I wanted to go crazy with the accessories and the jewelry and all that. <clears throat> I wore these little clear heels here that have a little bit of gold bronze detailing, and so I love putting on a super dainty girly heel with more of a chill outfit. That juxtaposition is just really good to me. I love the way that came together. My favorite bag in the world y'all have seen this bag a few times i love this bag my little velvet bag from asos the colors just went together so seamlessly i layered a few little dainty necklaces and i have them layered in a way that they go down to my chest area i just love this outfit it's very simple but it's very girly and elevated at the same time i threw on a pair of shades with it just to bring it all together and love this look this last outfit is with a denim skirt. Got this denim skirt secondhand. It is by The Loft. I love the buttons on the side and it has a lot of stretch to it. Y'all know how I feel about stretch. And so I wanted to pair this with a pair of boots that I haven't worn all season. And I'm like, girl, you need to wear them or you're gonna have to get rid of them. These boots are Vince Commuto. I've had them for a few years, but they're the perfect nude for my skin tone. Love the way that this paired together. I just put on a high neck tank top and a super long like maxi oversized cardigan y'all this was such a chill and comfortable look but it was still like well put together it looked really cute i think if i would have put this hat with it it would have just took it over the top so i probably should have done that i um paired it with my bottega dupe bag from tj maxx y'all these bags are like in every color right now in tj maxx so run to your tj maxx they're like 40 dollars, i think they may be a little bit less than that maybe 30 dollars so good such good quality love the way this look came together i would definitely wear this to brunch here i go telling you where to wear it too but it's just in my nature i would wear it to brunch or like a lunch date with the girls or even a day date with i I just love this. So that is all the outfits. Let me know what your favorite one that was down below. My favorite one was definitely the high neck button down with the pinstripe pants. Love that look together. Such a classic look. Let's chat down in the comments about what your favorite was. Like this video if you enjoy these type of videos. Share this video with your friends, your mom, your sister, whoever in your life that really enjoys fashion. Share this video with them so I can be pushed out to more people on the algorithm. We are growing, y'all. I have surpassed my second goal and I'm already close to my third goal of 500 subscribers. I am so thankful for all of you. If you made it to the end of the video and you enjoyed it, you like my vibe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Yeah, as always, stay beautiful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, loves.